Hola. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, once again, the Denge, bringing you another gaming commentary about Pirates Vikings and Knights 2. Today, we're going to talk about special attacks. Do you know about special attacks? Special attacks are this thing that happens to your character when you press F on your keyboard. It makes you win every battle. I mean, you win every battle. How absolutely awesome, isn't that? I mean, that's cool, right? Like, all you have to do is press this button on the keyboard and all of a sudden, BOOM! All your enemies go flying in different directions in giblets, blood spluttering all over the walls and your team will congratulate you with all honor whilst the enemy team will call you a newbie and want you to uninstall. Right, so, in all seriousness, in PvK2 all classes have a special attack, that is, when a character inflicts enough damage on another enemy, he will gradually have a... Uh, well, you see the small bar up here in the top left corner? Uh, not the health bar, not the armor bar, the one that's currently empty. That is a special bar. When you inflict damage on enemies, as you saw there... Well, I'm just completely wrecking this archer away, putting him, putting him out of his misery, headshot that guest here, run away, and eventually kill him too with his fancy dagger, because I like doing that, but this archer comes here and kills steals. Bad archer. But see, here's the special attack. The sharpshooter can ignite his powder horn, throw it away, and uh, make it land on archer's faces. That currently kills steel, so I had it my revenge. When you inflict enough damage, the special bar fills up gradually until it's full. And when it does that, you can unleash your powerful Ragey revenge on everyone who has currently opposed you, or ever will. Some may call this feature in PvK2 a cheap way to get kills because it does a lot of damage really quickly, even though you don't really get to do them that often. They are a very important thing, important uh, gameplay type that gives this game more dynamic because it can turn any battle to your favor if it's used correctly but how do you how do you use it correctly I mean all you can just press it and just hope for the best but at most cases you need to think about where and when you want to exactly use this to best effect because if your team is not doing well one special can turn a game that seems completely impossible to win to your favor and you will actually take the game back but that's of course entirely dependent on what game mode you're playing. If you're, for example, playing um, Trinket Wars, where it's a lot of deathmatching going around and uh, you keep respawning, it might be a good idea to try to use your specials uh, as often as you can, but with some because some consideration exactly where you want to use it. You don't, you don't want to waste specials, you never want to waste specials, but you should try to use them as often as you can, but because if you keep holding a... Sp like if you're a captain and you will reload your explosive cannonball shot and you will just keep holding on to that and waiting for the perfect moment where you can probably try to take down four guys in one go, that's not entirely efficient, because when your special bar is full and you just keep holding on to your special and when you do keep doing damage with your cutlass in the meantime that's like that could have been maybe two or three more specials you potentially could have ca you could have attacked other people with so you want to try to use them semi often both with consideration in game modes like trinket wars and uh, territory yeah trinket wars and territory because in well in territory you really don't need to worry more, much about killing people just capturing territories. You just need the specials to probably clear out territories and then defend them if anyone tries to take them from you. But then there are game modes like uh, Booty, Capture Treasure Chests, makes sense. But there I've uh, tried to figure out that there is, if you have a special, there is an offensive way and a defensive way to use the specials. Uh, if you're using it offensively, you save the special to, in order to use it on um, to run away with the chests. You should only try to use a special for defensive measures when uh, you should only try to use the actual weapon special in booty when you're defending to fend off enemies because 
you don't really need to run away with the chest, do you? Running away with the chest is actually extremely, extremely good because if you attack people, uh, everyone attack knights on islands, for example, at the same time, you pick one chest, nick it, and just dash away. No one, the knights will just either have to sacrifice their resources to chase down only you or keep defending against maybe eight other players still trying to take their chests. That is, that, that's why you should always save your special for uh, running away with the chests, if possible. And on your weapon when you're playing defensively and killing people. Uh, but when you, when you need to uh, actually be a lot more careful who you decide to use your special on, that would be in last team standing. Arena, cathedral, town and such. Because there is only, only that many people to kill and you won't be able to get as many specials as uh, you'd normally get in Trinket Wars when you keep respawning, there's infinite amounts of enemies from time to time. In Last Team Standing you have to be careful. It's not about actually killing people as much as it is staying alive. And that's where specials come, become great game changers like no other game mode. So that's where you need to be very careful and consider exactly who you want to attack with your special. Because that's the game where you least want to throw a special away just for the heck of it. So, we got that covered. Right, Trinket Wars, territory, use them often but considerably. Booty, defensively and offensively. Uh, make sure you keep using the chest special when you're playing offensively and your weapon special when you play defensively. Last team standing, be very careful and consider carefully who you are going to use the special on because you're staying alive, you're not trying to eliminate anyone. For the most part. So now that you know roughly generally when you should use your special in the general game modes, now it may sound simple enough to say that, well in Jenga Wars use them as much as you can but with a little consideration, that's simple, but when it actually comes down when you go into the fighting eyes of a heavy knight, you have two hostiles ahead of you and you know that you probably won't last very long on your own. You have a special, but how should you use the special in a more exact way? I don't think I really need to say it, but if you really have no clue, you may need to try to make sure that you hit both of these people with your special and to make sure that they can't tell you, that sir. you have a special because it's actually very easy to tell if someone has specials. Um, one example being they are just running around without actually charging up their weapon. You know that they're trying to position themselves so that they can time their special when you it's walk into you. attacking them. It's me. That's the uh, usual most primary telltale sign that you're going to get special and in that situation you can easily avoid when someone is trying to special you or the enemy will probably know how to avoid you but so what you need to do is just try to make sure to fool your enemy think you don't have a special keep trying to charge up swings as normal and when your enemy actually comes in to attack you just cancel this cancel the attack block him if you have to, and then you use your special as normally. Try to make sure to get as many people as you can in one special, just to maximize the damage, because it's, it usually is an area of effect, and you will do a lot of damage to multiple people, and you can turn the, turn the battle in your favor very quickly. There's no tricks about it. On to more specific details, how to use specials. Who do you use the specials on? Should you use them on classes with low health because they die fast? Or use them on stronger classes because it will soften, soften them up, making the initial battle easier? There are countless ways we can go about this and it, they depend entirely on the scenario. All, all enemy targets are good targets, but the special targets would be classes that are injured on low health that you can either kill them in order to um, gain a point on trinket wars or killing them in order to uh, just remove another threat that hinders your way to goals. Others, other key targets should be um, well generally just classes that give that are the most potential threats to you or your team. That is 
general idea. Uh, in Trinket Wars, you should try to focus on the enemy trinket carrier. That is really all there is to it. If you kill enemy trinket carriers, that's just good. I mean, you get health, you get armor, and you get one less point way to victory. Wi victory! I'm not too sure what I need to add. Uh, don't be too don't be too careful and cautious about specials. Uh, use try to use them often because you will get more specials to utilize in time. Use them carefully on last team standing where there is not a lot of people to kill. You can only use them so many times. And in booty mode, use them defensively and offensively, taking the uh, chest special into consideration. Now for the heck of it, if you don't, if you haven't played PvK at all, the skirmisher has a forward lunge, the captain has an explosive cannonball, the sharpshooter has an ignitable powder horn used as a grenade. The berserker will enter an enraged state with increased movement speed and attack speed, and a health bonus, but for a short time. The huskar will dash forward with his shield, bashing everything in his way away. The Gestil will do the same, but if you hit a wall, his special cancels. The Archer will load three fire arrows that he can shoot all at the same time, that does a lot of damage. The Heavy Knight can do a 360 spin that does an area of effect damage to everything around him. I'm sorry if I forgot to add anything, as usual. Hope you can take these tips into your gameplay and you will become a better warrior. Farewell, lads. Till next time. Have fun. <laughs>